Father, how can our generation be holy? Why do you ask me about holiness? Because I myself also want to be holy. You know, holiness is about imitating Jesus. There is no holiness without Jesus. We cannot make ourselves holy. Only Jesus can make us saints. Now, if you're asking me to help you to become holy as a young person, I will first ask you, do you know how to spell? Yes. Uh, can you spell sports for me? S-P-O-R-T-S. Sports. Sports. The first letter of sports is S. And S stands for silence. If you want to be holy, you need to understand silence. Why silence? Because silence is the language of God. You speak English? Yes. You speak Tagalog? Yes. The language of God is all the languages of the world, but you will be able to understand God only if you know how to speak the language of silence. Silence is not just about not talking. Silence is opening your ears so that you will hear the voice of God. Silence is understanding that God speaks to us when He says nothing at all. You know that song? You, you say it best when you say nothing at all. So, God speaks to us when He is silent. And you will be able to understand God if you are also silent. Because silence is the language of God. So, music is good. Words are good. But more important than music or words is silence. So, you know the Our Father, you know the Hail Mary, you know the Glory Be, you know the Apostles' Creed. All of these are prayers. But in order to grow deeply in your friendship with God, you must learn the language of silence. So what is S? Silence. What is the next letter? Letter P. P is for purity. If you are pure, you will be able to see God. Do you want to see God? Yes. The key to seeing God is purity. You take a bath every day? Yes. You brush your teeth three times a day? Yes. Why? Because you want to be clean. If you want your body to be clean, your soul should also be clean. And the way to cleanse your body is to take a bath. The way to cleanse your soul is to say, Lord, have mercy. To say, Lord, I am sorry I have offended you. So, I am sorry cleanses the soul. I am sorry cleanses your heart and makes you a pure person. God wants you to be pure. But you know, John Simon, you cannot be pure depending on yourself only. You can only be clean, you can only be pure by the grace of God. How do we become clean? By the blood of Jesus Christ. How do we become clean? By the waters of baptism. These are the means that God has given us in order to be pure. So S is? Silence. E? Purity. O is for open. This is closed. And this is open. If you want to be holy, stay open. Open to the Lord. Open to other people. If your mind is open, if your heart is open, you will be able to learn so many things. But if your heart is open and your mind is open, you will also be able to share many things. And the essence of living is in giving. You want to be rich? No, Father. You don't like to be rich? Um. Everybody wants to be rich. If you want to be rich, you have to give. Because people who do not give, do not become richer. People who do not give, die early. They die because they have lost the meaning of living. The essence of living is in giving. And the more you become a giving person, the more you become an open person, the more you will discover that you will never run out of blessings because God is always abundant in His blessings. So, O is for open. Uh, learn to give. Be a giving person. The mark of a real friend of Jesus is generosity. Do not be afraid that you will lack. Do not be afraid that uh, you will get hungry. Do not be afraid that you will be deprived. 
Because if you allow the Lord, God will always provide. So O is for open, open to give, and open to receive also. When you say you're open to receive, it means that you're a humble person. You're not proud. You recognize that you don't have everything and you need other people. And if you need other people, you must be open. You must be selfless. You must be a giving person, a generous person. Generosity is another sign of holiness because God is always generous with us. So S is for silence. silence. P is for purity. O. Openness. The R is response. Jesus tells you, come follow me. What will you say? Yes or no? Yes. Jesus tells you, study well. Yes or no? Yes. Tell the truth all the time. Yes or no? Yes. Obey your parents. Yes. Uh, be loving to your brother. Yes. So that is the call of Jesus. God wants you to be holy. God wants you to follow Him and then to say yes to the Lord because the Lord will always want the best for you. The Lord will never wish you harm. So if you want to be a priest, Jesus tells you, come follow me. If you want to be a good husband, to be a good father, Jesus also tells you, come follow me. Because priesthood, marriage, or single blessedness are all calls from the Lord. The, the call of the Lord for all of us is, come follow me, come be like me, come be holy. So if it is the Lord telling you, be a priest, say yes. If it is the Lord telling you, obey your parents, say yes. Because whatever Jesus wants for us is the best for us. So R is for response. T, T is for truth. T is for truth. Liars go to? Hell. Liars go to hell. But before liars go to hell, they first pass the mental hospital. If you're always lying, you will get crazy. And uh, when you get crazy because you don't know the truth anymore, when you get crazy because you're constantly lying, it is your fault. Because the Lord wants us to live in the truth all the time. But sometimes we say it was a white lie. But even if it is a white lie, it is still a lie. So lie has no color. Lie is always wrong. So don't say it's a white lie because even if it is red or violet or blue, it is still a lie. Or don't say it's a half-truth because if it is a half-truth, the other half is a lie. a lie. So tell the truth all the time because Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. And Jesus also says, the truth shall set you free. So if the truth sets you free, the truth sets you free from sin. The truth sets you free from the power of the evil one. Because God wants you to live in the truth all the time. Liars go to hell and there are no saints in hell. If you want to go to heaven, tell the truth all the time. So what is the last letter? Also S, Father. S. S is for sacrifice. Sacrifice is difficult at the start, but if you make your life a habit of sacrifice, an attitude of sacrifice, a lifestyle of sacrifice, then you will see that sacrifice is part of life. Do not look for an easy life, John Simon, because an easy life is a meaningless life. It is when you embrace the cross, it is when you embrace difficulty, it is when you allow yourself to be challenged by life's difficulties that you discover that life is beautiful. A life that is easy, a life that is always comfortable will not build your character. Have you ever put tea in hot water? Yes, but there are different colors of tea. There is green tea, there is black tea, sometimes there is pink tea. How do you know the color of the tea? You have to put it in hot, hot water. water. Hot water is like the problems in life. Hot water is like the difficulties in life. When you put yourself in those difficulties, when you put yourself in hot water, you will see your real color. 
and you build character by a life of sacrifice. So, can you spell sports again? Selfishness, purity. No, no, I... no. What is the first S? Silence. Ah, silence. silence. Silence, the language of? God. God. The next letter? Purity. Purity. Open. Open. Response. Response. And sacrifice. Sacrifice. If you spell sports, it is not just about basketball or baseball or volleyball or badminton or jogging. If you spell sports, it spells holiness for you. You told me you want to be holy, right? Yes. So remember, silence, purity, openness, response, truth, and sacrifice. Because if you spell it together, it spells sports, but you become holy. You understand it? Yes. Now, I want to help you more to be holy. Do you drink water? Yes. How many glasses? Seven to eight a day. Well, very good. <laughs> so, if you want to be holy, you have to drink from five wells. In the well, there is water, right? Yes. So, you have to drink from five wells. The five wells that you must consider if you want to be holy, the first well is pray well. What is the first well? Pray well. You cannot be holy if you're not praying. You cannot be holy if you don't talk to God because only God can make you holy. And how do you pray? You pray with words. And what is the language of God? Silence. Silence. So pray well because praying is the dialogue with God, is our conversation with God. The second well that you must drink from is study well. What is the first well? Pray well. Second? Study well. You know, studying can make you holy. Studying can make you a saint. By reading, by learning, and using your learning for the benefit of other people, you can become holy by studying. You don't just become holy by praying. Because if all you do as a young person is to pray, God will not be happy. As a young person, you're a pupil, you're a student, and God wants you to be the best student. You don't have to be number one in your class all the time, but you always have to break your own record. John Simon yesterday should be better than last week, and John Simon today should be better than yesterday. You must keep on getting better. It is not your classmates that you must break records. It is your own record yesterday that you must keep on improving, so study well. The third well that you must drink from is play well. What is the first? Pray well, study well, and play well. Play well, meaning to say, engage in sports. Uh, you don't have to you don't have to say no to enjoyment because the Lord wants you to be happy. So when you play, you don't play to win. You don't play to compete. You play because you want to glorify God while playing. So in basketball, when you dribble, it is for God. When you shoot, it is for God. When you hold the bat and hit the ball, it is for God. So play, enjoy it. Enjoy it. And it is not bad to laugh. It is not prohibited to smile. It is not prohibited to, to be spontaneous about your, about your enjoyment, that you're winning in the game. It's all right. And God is happy when you're happy in a, in a game. So pray well, study well, play well. The fourth well, I think you will like. What? Eat well. <laughs> <laughs> Eat well, I did not say eat much. I said eat well, meaning to say you have to eat a balanced diet. So you glow food, you eat the glow food, the grow food, and the go food. Go food. So eat balanced. So don't just eat meat all the time, eat vegetables also, eat fruits, eat carbs. Balanced diet. Because when you eat well, your body develops. And your body is not yours. Your body belongs to God. Your body is a gift of God to you. So when you eat, it is not to, it is not to eat for the sake of 
appetite. Rather, you eat because you have to take care of your body and your body is God's gift to you. The fifth well is sleep well. I said sleep well in your bedroom. Do not sleep in the class. Sleep well when it is time to sleep. When it is time to sleep, do not use your gadgets. When it is time to sleep, do not chat, sleep. Because as a young person, when you sleep, when you sleep, your bones also grow. And when you sleep, when you sleep, your muscles develop because everybody needs a good sleep. And keep in mind, John Simon, a good sleep is a blessing from the Lord. There are so many people right now, young people like you, who are not able to sleep. So when you're able to sleep and you wake up, you say, thank you, Lord, for a good sleep. Because every food is from the Lord, every sleep is from the Lord. And you must be grateful that you're able to sleep. And if God gives you the gift of sleep, you must sleep. Because the body cannot be working for 24 hours. You ready to drink from five wells? First well? Pray well. Study well. Study well. Play, Play well. well. Eat, Eat well. well. And sleep well. Sleep well. If you put together the five wells, it is a balanced life, and the balanced life is a holy life. Because related to holiness is wholeness. A person who is holy is a whole person, a complete person. And God wants you to be a complete person, a whole person, because that is the plan of Jesus for us. I came that you may have life and have it to the full. So, thank you for dreaming to be a saint. And I will pray for you. Who is your favorite saint? Saint Michael. Saint Michael will help you to be holy. Saint Michael means God is powerful. Only God can make a tree. Only God can make a saint. And God wants you to be a saint. If you open yourself to the Lord, He's going to do great marvels in your life. God bless you. Thank you, Father.